Hey everybody, welcome. It's Kelly McCausey from Beachpreneurs.com. I'm here with my co-beachy, Nicole Dean. Hey Nicole. Hi Kelly. Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got to wish shade. The, the brilliance of this hangout, the people that we get to share some screen, with screen time with this morning is just too stinking awesome. I'm so excited. We're here because the St. Pete Beach Beachpreneurs Lifestyle Conference is coming up in just 22, 23 days. We're going to be in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida for three days at the Trade Winds Island Resort on the beach. I will say it again, Kelly. That was so sexy. The Trade Wind <laughs> Island <laughs> Beach Resort. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm excited about it. So excited about it. So we have gathered together our speakers and our advisors. Almost the whole gang is here. Tracy is not able to join us. Tracy Roberts is going to be one of our speakers talking about partnership. And uh, I don't think we have Paul here yet. Paul is one of our mastermind advisors. But we do have an amazing lineup. So how about we just go ahead and get started. Uh, I want to just get introductions out of the way. So. I think everyone sees themselves in the same order that I do. Pa or Bob, you're the first in line on our little strip here. Sure. Yes. Want to go ahead and get started with telling us who you are and what you're going to teach at sure. the beach. Well, if you are the kind of person that gets stuck in making decisions, you get overwhelmed by all the opportunities and options and choices ahead of you, then you're going to enjoy my talk during the Beachpreneurs Lifestyle Conference because I will be sharing a Take Action Revise Later keynote in which I'll give you some mindset strategies and some ideas on how to tactically move forward in your business by making the right decisions for yourself and then making changes along the way. My name is Bob the Teacher Online, Facebook, Twitter, uh, websites, etc. And I live in Minnesota, Bloomington. Minnesota near the airport and I can't wait to be on the beach. Uh, we do have summer here as my fellow colleague Rachel will attest to. It's nice <laughs> and warm. It'll be in the mid 80s today but it's going to be great to be on the white sands of the St. Pete beaches and I can't wait to see you guys. Yay! Great job Bob. Debbie. Debbie O'Grady. Hey, I can't wait to see everybody at the Trade Winds Resort. It's going to be so much fun. I do live here in Florida, so I'm going to be just driving across the straight the state from Orlando to St. Pete. It's going to, I'm going to enjoy my drive across. And what I'll be teaching is helping you to get focused and get more done and make more money. I'm the queen of accountability, so we're going to be talking a lot about accountability and the accountability edge that it'll give you. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody. Thank you, Debbie, the unaccountability lady. Whenever I think of accountability, I think of you now. You've oh, been, good. You've been branding <laughs> yourself so well. Thank uh, you. Uh, before we jump to the next speaker to introduce yourself, I do want to just make sure everyone knows, if you tweet or share on Facebook with the hashtag Beachpreneurs, anytime during this hour, invite other people to come and hang out with us. So you're going to tweet or share the link beachpreneurs.com forward slash hangout with that hashtag and I'm going to keep track and after the hangout when this is all said and done I'm going to go back put everybody's name in a hat and draw for a free ticket to the event. I didn't even ask Nicole about it. <laughs> <laughs> Time zone issues. Here. She might have been asleep. It's all good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so up next, Leslie, would you introduce yourself? I'm not next in line, but I will go. Can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Um, well, I'm Leslie Truex. I live in Central Virginia, so I'll be flying down. Um, and I hate to fly, but I'm gonna fly down because I want to go to the beach and I want to meet y'all in person. I'm gonna be. Ooh talking about 
how understanding your market's going to help you make more money. I started Work at Home Success in 1998, and a lot has changed. There was no blogging in 1998. There was no digital downloads of products in 1998. Uh, and the people that visited my site in 1998 are not the same people that are visiting today. And so when you're defining your market, it's not just for now, but things will change. You need to monitor it. And I'm going to talk to you about how you can do that, how you can know who they are, where they are, so that you can find them and deliver exactly what they want and make more money. Awesome. How about that? Thank you, Leslie. Must be you guys do not all see each other in the same order that I see you, so I'll just call on the next person, Natalie Marie Collins. Hello. Can you hear me? Good. Okay, so I'm Natalie Marie Collins, and Kelly has invited me to come down and be a mastermind advisor. I'm a virtual assistant, and I'm also the co-founder with Bob the Teacher um, of the VA Success School, and I am really excited to get in there and start generating a lot of ideas and, and just, um, you know, get that business stuff you know, going. Sometimes we just need that little spark and, and stuff to get us going, and I'm here to help you. Fantastic. And Rachel. Martin. All right. Are you ready for me? I'm not in the order. I'm seeing someone else next, so I wasn't ready. So <laughs> anyway, I'm also from Minnesota with Bob the Jenkins, that Bob Jenkins the teacher. I'm going to call you the Jenkins. I think we might be on the same flight too, Bob. I'm looking at booking that. And yes, it'll be 84 here for the next two weeks, and then we go back to negative 20. So that's just about normal. So I'm looking forward to going to the beach. And I am going to talk to you about... Well, I'm part of Blogging Concentrated. I'm um, co-founder of that, and then I have my site, Finding Joy, and I really emphasize this idea of matter and vision planning. So I'm going to talk about that, like the importance of vision planning and then looking at the stumbling blocks that stop us. So often it's just like this voice of, I can't do it, and so often it's just replacing that with some truth. So that is what I'm going to talk about is really focusing on the vision, looking ahead, not just from tomorrow, but what do we want in a year, five years from now, ten years from now and then looking at ourselves and being empowered and living out of that empowered place. So that's me. Fantastic. <laughs> and Tony Leidig. Hi there. I am really looking forward to joining all of you. I'm going to be talking about product creation. And uh, we're going to have a master class. We're going to dig in to uh, discuss exactly what to do with the content that you have that you're creating that's inside you that needs to get out to the audience around you and one of my challenges for you while you're there is to not just think about product creation from a I need to write a book, I need to create a single product but how to leverage your content in very simple ways that can expand your product creation repertoire increase your profits and uh, expand your visibility so that's what I'm going to be covering my name is Tony Ladig also known as Neo in the famous Matrix series. <laughs> and uh, my website is expertmediashow.com. Do you want the red pill Absolutely. or the blue pill? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the event is coming up really fast. And um, Nicole, you and I are both speaking as well. And I, I'll, we'll share what we're going to be teaching about here in just a little bit. But um, I want to kind of pull out some business lifestyle tips from the group today. Um, being a beachpreneur means different things to different people. For example, you d probably won't ever find me physically, like, in the water at the beach. It, you know, it's just not me. There's several re really good reasons. A, I don't look good in a bathing suit. B, I have, I actually have um, a legitimate reason to stay out of the sun. I have a, a very strange skin. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I don't have melanin on a large portions of my body. So I have an excuse to hide up on the porch when we're at the actual Beachpreneur's Beach House. Um, the Beachpreneur's Lifestyle, what does it mean to you? Are you a beach bunny? Or is it for like Bob, is it about being in a boat on a lake? What does living the beachpreneur lifestyle mean to you? What, what kind of freedom does it 
do you think of when you think about achieving the beachpreneur lifestyle? And what kind of tip would you share? How have you been able to get closer to your beachpreneur lifestyle? So coming back to start with Bob. <laughs> sure. Well, one thing is definitely going out on a pontoon in the summer months, especially here in Minnesota. It's a little different and not as much fun in December. But it's really about being able to say uh, at any time of the week, hey, let's go watch a movie. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Or let's stay in and crank a new product out. Uh, let's take the the ideas that I have in my mind and put them into action as an entrepreneur instead of having to always listen to somebody else telling me what to do. Uh, I have a background as a high school history teacher for 10 years, so every single day for those 10 months of the year, I'd get up at 6, I'd be at school by 7-ish, I would teach, I would come home, I would grade papers, I would continue to grade papers, I would go to sleep and repeat that process. In my summer times, I'd have eight weeks off, six of which were spent on curriculum development, summer school, uh, other types of things that were not vacation, and I'd have really two weeks to actually do something. So when I became an entrepreneur, and then as I became a more successful entrepreneur, being able to have that flexibility to choose what's my day look like, to be able to choose the kinds of projects that I work on, and to be able to choose the way that I operate is what means you know lifestyle for me. Uh, being able to take a couple weeks off here and there, uh, use the computer or not, all those things are important. Uh, and it you know manifests right now in, this, in the form of hey let's go to the pontoon uh, out on Bryant Lake or whatever else. Uh, Teresa and I are planning a honeymoon for our uh, wedding that's coming up in October, our honeymoon in the winter. And we're looking at you know nice tropical locations uh, like Bali, and being able to go there and not worry about whether money continues to come in, because that's the other piece of it. While on vacation or while on the pontoon, there's notifications coming in from PayPal saying, "Hey, you made some money." It doesn't happen every afternoon, but it happens more often than not. Uh, and being able to have those passive revenue streams to support being able to relax and enjoy the rewards of my business is really what it's all about for me. <laughs> Awesome, awesome way to way to bring up your beautiful fiance Therese. Bali, really? Yep. You're adding uh, <laughs> adding new meaning to the word beachpreneur. Hey, we've been joined by another of our awesome people, Mastermind Advisor Paul Tobman. Hi, Paul. Glad you could finally Hello. make it. I'm trying. <laughs> it's it's beachpreneurs. Paul, it's beachpreneurs. Is that, is that Indiana like Jones? Safari, <laughs> safaripreneurs? No, you just keep the sun down. Okay. That's all right. right. I need it after all these troubles. All right. So you're ha we're, ha we're still having trouble. We can hear you, though. Want to introduce yourself really quick? Sure. My name is Paul Taubman. I'm with I Need Help with WordPress.com. Help people make money with their websites and excited to come down to Florida. Yay! And yeah, you are one of our mastermind advisors. Paul, Paul won't be teaching a specific session, but he will be around to help you out when you have issues and questions that come up. So we're getting some shout outs. Brian Basilico is saying hi to everyone. Hey, Brian. And, hey, Brian. And Vivian Masney mm -hmm. says, happy to be here. Thanks, guys. Yay. So, Debbie, how about you? What's a, what's a favorite lifestyle, business lifestyle tip from you? Well, I, I would say the way that, that I run my business and the way I live my life is I, I love to travel. So I'm traveling all the time. And that's a lot of what the Beachpreneur lifestyle is all about. It's a lot what what Bob said where as far as you can do what you want and and you pick what you're doing. I can see Paul's <laughs> Paul's face on the screen. Sorry. It was distracting me. <laughs> so <laughs> but with the way that I run my business, um, I have a lot of calls. I do account accountability programs. So I'm doing accountability calls and as long as I'm not on an airplane, I can do everything that I need to do for my business. I can be there for my clients when they need me um, and, and I can answer emails. I can certainly do all my calls.
walls and to me that's the beachpreneur lifestyle I can do it on the beach I can do it in Costa Rica when I go to Costa Rica out of the country I do not have to be sitting right here in my office to run my business so my biggest tip is 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 make your business portable I've been able to do that with mine and like I said un unless I'm on an airplane I can just run my business all the time so that's my tip and Debbie, what does the beachpreneur lifestyle mean to you? You also have international travel uh, interests, don't you? I do. I do. I, I actually, um, well, I do travel um, internationally. I, I go to Costa Rica quite often. I'm actually going to have a retreat in Costa Rica in the spring where I, it's, it's invitation. I am inviting um, up to 10 entrepreneurs to come to Costa Rica with me and talk about their business and do this wonderful, have this wonderful experience, this great mastermind experience. And again, that's all part of the beachpreneur lifestyle to be able to do that. Yeah. The the funny thing about being beachpreneurs, Nicole, um, is that we love to spend time with each other. Yes, ma'am. And um, that's one of the reasons we're having this event. I mean, we actually we the well, it's one of the reasons we're having the event in September. We actually were considering another event in the Florida region around this period of time, and we decided. Um, you know, we wanted to get together, but we didn't really want to go to that event. So we decided, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and have that lifestyle conference we've been wanting to have. Another excuse to get together. Yes, um, and now look what it's become. I mean, our favorite people yeah. that I've been that I already love, and people that I can't wait to spend more time with that I don't know as well. I mean, I'm just I'm absolute. I'm in bliss right now. I'm so excited. I know. High five. High five. <laughs> But, um, you know, just because we love to spend time together, we're not, uh, it's not like we're conference addicts. Um, actually, going to conferences for you, Nicole, is, is not, I mean, if you were to, to choose a variety of possible ways to, to get out of the house and, and see other people, would a conference be your top choice? For business or for, just in my life? In life in general, I'm in, life I'm, in general. I'm bringing up the the introvert angle oh, of yeah. going to I'm events. An <laughs> I'm an extreme introvert, so for me, going to big events can be ex very painful and difficult. They require a lot of checklists and a lot of planning, some Xanax, oftentimes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I go to the events that I already know and love and that I'm comfortable going to to see people that I want to see but to go to one where um, it would be tons of people and I didn't know anybody it's just it's a little too much for me I don't do well with that so I love that this one is cozy and it'll be nice because I'll get a chance to get to know and meet everybody and probably hug everybody so it's gonna be good I'm really excited yeah we, we've promised an introvert friendly event which means uh, we won't make you do calisthenics in the morning we won't we won't force you to do mosh pit style networking <laughs> you know there's a place for all of that but but our events it's it, you know just not a fit for us to, and we'll, to call people out that way we're not going to shove a mic in anyone's face Right. You want the mic, right. you can come get the mic. We're not going to shove it in your face, period. Yep. So you're yeah. going to be in a safe zone. Yeah. It's our goal not to make you feel physically uncomfortable. You know, growing your business, well, wait a second. Yeah, I don't want to make you feel physically uncomfortable. Um, but the very fact that you're coming to an event if you're an introvert is mildly uncomfortable. But we want to make you feel as at home and unpressured as possible so that you can focus on the great content and not feel like you have to be on guard of what are they going to make me do next. So it's all up to you if you want to be the bell of the ball and and get, you know, lots of attention, go for it. But if you want to be a fly on the wall and sit back and and, you know, let people come to you, that's great too. Whatever works. 
That's, That's also why we have the mastermind on the last day so that you can start to feel comfortable, get to know who all the speakers are, the mastermind leaders are, who else is in the room, and then at the last day, you'll be more comfortable sharing and interacting with people. Yep. So I think that the model will work really, really well. And Kelly, at your event, the mastermind was one of the most powerful things. Yeah. I just love that. And yeah. watching people come out of their shells is really yeah. fun, too. Yeah. yeah. All right. So... Um, Hey, Leslie, what is the Beachpreneur lifestyle? What what does it mean to you um, as a busy mom? You're probably not spending a lot of time being lazy on the beach. What does it mean to you and, and what are you doing? The week before uh, I go to Florida to see you, I'll be in Myrtle Beach for a week. Nice. Um, now, I'm like you. I don't like necessarily being on the beach or in the water, but I like being at the coast. Uh, and I like the temperature not to be below 70 and so when my husband retires I'm already looking for a place that won't get below 70 degrees I'll have a huge lanai and be able to work there um, in terms of my work though I love to do what I want to do when I want to do it how I want to do it and of course where I want to do it uh, and for example one of the things is I don't like having appointments so I don't do a lot of coaching per se. Um, not that I don't like people. I like speaking. I like going to speaking events. I'll be the one grabbing the microphone. Um, but uh, I don't like uh, having appointments. I like to kind of work when I get up and do what I have to do and I've pretty much designed that. The other thing is, is I have something called ideaphoria which means I have a lot of ideas and I want to do them all. Um, and that gets me in trouble, but it also has allowed me to change what I do over the years. For example, I'm doing a lot more writing now than I used to do, a lot more authorship, and I'm doing a lot more speaking uh, because that's really where my passion is right now. But in two years from now, that may be t totally different. Uh, and so doing this, once you figured out how to create your own career, create your own lifestyle, you can do it over and over and over again, depending on where you are. You know, I have a kid in college. I got a senior in high school. So my life's going to be changing a lot in the next couple of years, which means I can go live on a lanai. It may not have very good Internet access, but I will do the best I can <laughs> to keep doing what I do and what I love to do. And that's really what it means to me, just doing what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it, where you want to do it. That's right. That's right. Hey, Natalie, how about you? What What's your beachpreneur lifestyle? What does that mean to you? And, and share a favorite lifestyle business tip. Okay, so I was in the corporate world for 13 years. And to get out of that environment where you're questioned on where you're going when you're going to the bathroom just really bothered me. <laughs> so <laughs> being able to work from home and to work from essentially anywhere that I have an internet connection is the ultimate freedom that just makes my soul sing. So being able to work at the beach is even better. <laughs> so, you know, the business tip um, would really be is you know, as you have all of your stuff, you know, going and you have your your rituals, your your schedule and whatnot, um, figure out ways that you can do it um, not in your office, but if, if you're leery about actually leaving your office and going somewhere else to work, um, try doing something like a writing date where you take yourself like to a coffee shop or somewhere where you get more comfortable working outside of your home and then you can start venturing out more and it'll be easier for you when you travel to actually keep up with that schedule that you're used to. Fantastic. That, and if you're interested in a writing date, go to writingdate.com yes. because the, Nash, the first ever National Writing Date Day is coming up in the early September. Yes, the first Saturday in September. Super cool. All right. Rachel, how about you? What's your beachpreneur lifestyle? What does it mean to you? And what's okay. a favorite lifestyle tip? Well, I've got a couple things. You know I travel a ton. I yeah. awful a lot. And so I read this book called One Year Off a couple years ago, and I loved it. It's about this family that sold everything, and they decided to travel the world. And I thought at that moment, hey, I want to have that type of freedom to be able to travel and to not have, just like everyone else has been saying, like not to have the angst of, 
oh, how am I going to make money, but just to know that the money is going to come in. So that is one of the things that is my goal, is to be able to have the freedom to work anywhere. And I can work on planes or in airports and all of that. Now here's my tip that I love, that both Dan and I do at Blogging Concentrated, is we really emphasize taking time for you, even while you're building the business. So if you see our stuff, we have this thing called, it was Dan's, and then I got kind of adopted into it, this doppelganger list. And it's basically like, when we were in Manhattan, he drank a Manhattan, and in Denver, we walked a mile in the Mile High City, and at Salt Lake City last week, we dumped salt back into the Great Salt Lake. And it's just all these crazy little things that we do that says to us, you know what, we could be busy all the time, busy, busy, busy working, but we're like, no, 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 we want to step back and appreciate the moment. And that is so much of what my heart posture is, is even in the busy, taking time, because time will just keep ticking. And if we don't say, hey, we're worth it to take this moment in this time right now, those time, that time will just be gone. So that is my lifestyle thing. That's awesome. I do love the doppelganger It's thing. fun. <laughs> it is fun. It's fun because it's crazy because I can put a post like, what's the idea for the doppelganger? And we get comment after comment after comment from people saying, you need to go do this or you go do this. And it's just this cool like way to experience locations and cities that you probably normally don't think of doing. And we had people laughing at us as we were dumping salt back into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be here in Michigan this weekend. I am. Right, it is coming to my house. No, not my house, but you know what I mean, Michigan. Yes. What's the doppelganger in Michigan? Do you I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We are taking the ferry across Lake Michigan, so I'm like, is there something going on there? But I don't know. I don't know. I'm driving mm -hmm. to Chicago tomorrow. You could at least wear mittens I, and keep yes. pointing to where you're at as you go. You know along. I have many mittens, don't you, Bob? <laughs> I do. <laughs> like pockets yeah. of it. Yeah, you could totally wear mit mit mittens in the mitten state, but okay. um, but Dan could dress hey, up as Tinker Bell. Is it Wisconsin the mitten state? No. Madison, <laughs> Green Bay. Oh I my word! Seriously. Oh. Michigan. My, husband, my husband's from here. I'm from here, and we met right there. And we went on our honeymoon right there. <laughs> in Dork County? Yes. <laughs> I know. I know the geography of Wisconsin. Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of a geography nut. That is a crazy part of me. Like I will, I can hardly wait. Like I downloaded the Altimeter app, and I think I put a post on Facebook. Like it is so boring in Minnesota. It's like 954 feet, 954 feet again. Whereas when we were going through the mountains, it was awesome. Kelly, we're going to have to arm wrestle for mitten rights. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. This is well known. Take a vote. Take a vote. How many people say Michigan is the mitten state? I'm not getting involved. You, guys. So you guys are all scared of Nicole. I do agree. I do <laughs> agree, being the historian of the group, that does look like a mitten. However, Michiganders are historically the ones that use their hand to point out where they're from. So do Wisconsinites. But really? what's with the what's with the UP thing? I mean, what's that? The UP, the ham like this. Yes. <laughs> so it's it is it is the easiest thing in the world. But we okay. got distracted by the mitten. Sorry, Dan, that's my fault. Totally my fault. <laughs> Dan Morris needs to wear a Tinkle Bell costume on the ferry. Don't even encourage him. Oh, the ferry on the ferry. You're not using that goodwill right now looking for a Tinkerbell costume. <laughs> it could just be the like the the wings maybe. I have a Tinkerbell costume. Oh my word. <laughs> just wait, it'll be there. Tinkerbell. I can't, yes. I can't wait. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Tony, what's your beach? What does the beach winter lifestyle mean to you, and what's a favorite lifestyle tip you could share? Well, I absolutely love it. Um, for all the reasons everyone shared, I'm actually in a in the sunny hotel in sunny Austin, so I'm not really close to a beach at all. But uh, one of the things that I love about it is that, as others have said, um, being able to run my business from anywhere is a real joy and pleasure, plus having an opportunity to meet with customers, with friends all over because, you know, like all of us really, many of our best friends live everywhere else other than where we live. And so, uh, you know, to spend time with everyone a couple weeks ago in Atlanta, uh, to connect with some of my friends in Memphis just the other day, and um, I, 
you know, I just love it. I'm heading to um, Illinois uh, next weekend and then to Boston and just all over the place. And I, I drive. I love to drive. And so um, being able to take my cameras along and shoot photos, which is something that I absolutely love, uh, exploring little towns that are out of the way that you can't really see whenever you're driving is something else that I enjoy doing. But uh, from a tip perspective, uh, probably the biggest thing for me is that people look at what we do and say, oh, I could never do that, or I could never afford that, or I don't have the time. And honestly, they're just excuses. Um, that's what I found. There are so many ways that you can travel uh, without spending huge amounts of money and, and all of that and really enjoy what we're doing. And as many of you have also said, uh, being able to uh, make money while we're on the road. I actually uh, typically uh, have a higher income level when I'm traveling than whenever I'm at home. I usually make more money when I'm on the road. And I don't know if it's just because I'm more conscious of it and I take more action. I don't know. But um, for me, I, I just really enjoy it. I, I'm completely ruined uh, working for the man, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm done with that. So, did you share a tip yet? Yeah, my tip is um, don't say that you can't do this. All right? Don't say that you can't do it because I would challenge you to prove to me that you can't because in ways you will not be able to prove to me that you can't. And I really love what Natalie said earlier about just getting out of your house and going to a coffee shop and working there. Go to the next town or stay at a hotel for a night in the next town over anything to get yourself used to uh, the beachpreneur mindset because it really is a mindset. It really is a, a different way of thinking about business and travel. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, Paul Taubman, he's given up. He just can't get connectivity enough to come and, and spend the time with us. So he's, he's probably having a tantrum right now at his house. And his cool hat. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Paul. We do miss you. <laughs> Fortunately, there are no bandwidth issues at live events. Sorta. Um, we'll be able to see and hear you and enjoy you. All right. So, um, Nicole. Yes, dear. You're teaching. Yes. At, well, you're you're keynoting at the event. Have Have you decided yet what you want to talk about? No. Not really. <laughs> Getting a lot of ideas, though. Um, I think what I bring to the table um, is that I really do run a very hands-off business. Um, for the last several years, I have made sure to use my passport every year since 2010. I make it a goal to leave the country in some way, shape, or form every year, and I've done it so far every year. And... Um, what I do is I force myself every year to take between three and five weeks off completely other than a half hour every other day to check in on things via my phone or whatever and I find that that forces me to readdress my symptom symptoms <laughs> systems and make sure everything is running smoothly because otherwise I find that I get sucked back into my business very easily so knowing that I have that test coming up again forces me in every decision that I'm making to see whether that's moving me towards that or not towards that you know what I mean so that's probably one of the things that I do that's different from a lot of people is to actually step out of my business for weeks at a time and know that I'm still making money so I do that through partnerships and interns and outsourcing and having awesome affiliates that are just out there doing the work for me so I can escape whether it's for a few hours to go watch a play with my daughter or whether it's for a few weeks to have a major adventure you know going across Europe and and uh, with my whole family for a while so it's just I love adventure I love to spend time with my husband because I actually like him and my kids and so I try to say no as much as I can in my business so that I can say yes as often as I can in my life because if I'm saying yes to everything in my business then I'm too scattered the profits aren't there and then I find that I get sucked back in and I end up saying no to the things that really matter so 
that would be what the beachpreneur lifestyle means yeah. to me. That's awesome. I I have a to-do list that has barely budged this week. Um, I typically I'm I'm typically really good about not lying to myself about what I'm going to do. Um, but I have not been able to make any progress on this and and I had a, this moment last night where I heard your voice and David's voice and some guy on Tony's webinar was like in there echoing I don't remember who it was but everybody was like harassing me in my thoughts about how I am working in my business too much and I looked at this to-do list and I thought not one of these things should be on my to-do list <laughs> and that's the problem so uh, you know motivate me because this is I need to step it up if I'm gonna do everything I want to do and and increase my income the way I want to increase it uh, I can't keep focusing on those things I need to be more like you and have those systems in place and so and what Leslie said before, I like to have my schedule completely open for business things. I mean, you know, this is a rarity for me to actually have something on my schedule that <laughs> says you must put on makeup and, and be here at this time. <laughs> I'm pretty fluid in things like the coaching I do is email coaching so that I can respond on my schedule and not on someone else's. And I, I just really prefer to keep everything on my calendar as much as possible, family things. And that's just my priority, so... I, I, it works for me. I was when I first started, I busted my butt and I wore out, and my husband got tired of looking at the back of my head. So <laughs> I had to learn pretty quickly, and that's what I want to help our beaches to do, both at the conference and at our retreat. Yes, yes. So um, I want to amend, you know, the what I mentioned at the beginning of our hangout. If you want to share a link to the hangout on social media with the hashtag Beachpreneurs. Just send them to beachpreneurs.com forward slash hangout and I'm going to monitor and I'm going to go choose someone for a free ticket. I am going to do that. So, you know, tweet. But if you want to share something that someone said, if, if something that someone said grabbed you, if you want to quote them, share that with a hashtag. I'll throw that into the hat too for the free ticket to the St. Pete Beach event which is coming up in, is it 22 or 23 days now? So, um, yeah, this now this is our first lifestyle conference, but Nicole, you just mentioned the Beach House. We do have official Beachpreneur Beach House alumni here in the group. Debbie O'Grady and Natalie Marie Collins are both uh, official Beach House alumni. I'm so glad you guys are here. You know, this Beachpreneurs Conference, our, our whole heart behind it is to bring our alumni up and show them off to the world. You know, we get to spend intimate time with them in the beach house and we learn how incredible they are and how much they have to share with the world and then we want to create a venue where we can put them up on a stage and say, check them out. These these people are incredible. They have so much to share with you. So so glad you guys are here. Makes my heart happy. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. All right, well, we got some time left. Anybody want to throw out an OPIC topic that you would like to ask of your fellow speakers and advisors? I know Bob does. Bob always has something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Bob. You like to put me on the spot because you know I can handle it. Uh, yes. <laughs> truth. truth. Hashtag, <laughs> Hashtag truth. Hashtag truth. Um, well, I have a tip for you when you're running an event like this that I actually thought about last night and then forgot to tell Tony Leidig about during his three-hour expert media show 100th episode marathon. There is a, Dude, nifty, little, a nifty little website called clicktotweet.com. And you can create the tweet that you want people to, to say and include a hashtag, include an at username, and a link. And you can put it into the mm -hmm. Q&A box of a GoToWebinar or the Google Hangout chat or whatever. And the link looks something like cc.to slash and a bunch of garbage. But if it's a clickable link, it's just there. And then 
you are you can send this out in an email. You can send this out on a blog post. You can send this out anywhere. And as soon as somebody clicks it, it goes over to Twitter, and it immediately populates the status update field with the exact same tweet you wanted them to post. And they can edit it if they want to, but how cool is it for them to click a link and then simply click the big blue tweet button once they get to Twitter, and then it's done. And so I would love to see a tweet storm kind of uh, process for not only beachpreneurs, but for any of you watching. Do that on any event you're doing. Do it on a blog post, and you'll be amazed at how viral your content can be spread and how much more uh, idea spreading can happen with that simple little tool. And click to tweet is free for five unique tweets. Uh, they have an upgrade for unlimited tweets if you wish to, but you can always delete the old ones and then do a new one if you want. But uh, test that out for yourself and see what you get out of it. That's a fantastic idea. There's, see why we have him here? I know. <laughs> Smart. I know. Smart and fun, too. Not <laughs> just smart. We like them, too. Anyone else have a topic or question that they want to throw out to the group? Tony looks like he does. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do? Well, come on. You just heard all of these tips last night at your celebration. There has to be something in there that you want to tell us about. By the way, Tony, your your 100th anniversary webinar, um, well, the, the expert media show was fantastic. Thanks. It was so much fun. I did not win the laptop, though. So. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it was so funny with the laptop giveaway. Um, for those of you who weren't there, I um, was using a random letter generator and a random number generator to pick the winners. And whatever letter came up, I counted how many folks there were that whose name began with the, that letter. And so we gave away a bunch of stuff, um, uh, iPad mini and a couple cameras and all of that. And the last prize was uh, a MacBook Air. And so when I went to the letter generator, it came up with the letter I. <laughs> and, and there were two. There were two uh, folks on the call live whose name began with the letter I out of like 500. And so it, it was just kind of interesting to me that, you know, out of 500 folks, the final drawing for the big pri biggest prize would come down to just two people. <laughs> um, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. And tip-wise, the one thing that I would probably encourage everyone, and then we'll talk about this some in the product creation uh training that I'll offer at the event is uh, never stop. And one of the recurring themes that happened last night was always do something every day that's moving your business forward. Jeff Herring talked about that. Uh, Mike Stewart talked about that. Daniel Hall talked about that. Um, it, and it really is true. All of us that you see here right now, we are doing something in our business to move the ball forward. Maybe we're not creating a product every day. Uh, we're certainly not, you know, I don't consider that doing customer support as moving my business forward every day, but we're still taking action and we're never stopping. I nearly quit the expert media show a year ago and one of my friends who was on the uh, webinar last night, John Rhodes, really kicked my butt and encouraged me to keep going and as a result of that, I, you know, was able to celebrate our 100th episode last night and no intent of stopping at all. And so that's what I mean. You know, surround yourself with people who will gently and at times not so gently kick you in the behind and keep you moving, but always take that next step, whatever that is. A question for you, Tony, along that line, and it's kind of a softball pitch, but how did you meet the people who kick your butt? Usually in live events. Um, most of them I've met in live events, of course. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I like going to them. Um, I remember, you know, being a nobody and not knowing anything, having my first product and scared out of my mind uh, and at Armand Morin's big seminar and afraid to walk up to people to introduce myself because I no one knew who I was. But... Um, but I did it anyway, and that really began this journey, you know, seven, eight years ago, uh, 
you know, where I, I am to continuing to move forward. So one of the things that I love about events like Beachpreneurs is that it's so close and it's so intimate that you don't have to worry about the speakers doing our thing and then vanishing for the next several hours and you're kind of left on your own. We're all there together. We're there to enjoy our time together one-on-one uh, -on -one and interacting and having fun. And that's how you build relationships. That's how you build your business and, and bring those people into your life who care about you enough to kick you in the behind when you need it. And Tony, you hit it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Nice pitch, Bob. <laughs> hey, Rachel, you do lots of events all around the country with Blogging Concentrated, and of course, you visit and participate in lots of other bigger events. Is there something you see attendees of small events doing that really works? A tip well, that you would share? What I love about the small events, oh, I have an echo going on, weird. Anyway, what I like about the small ones is that intimate environment. There's like that ability to ask questions without, you know, sometimes when you're in a bigger group, no one wants to ask the question. And I'm always like, and I tell this to my kids, like, just ask the question. Like, learning involves being willing to know that you don't know something. And sometimes, uh, I just made a video for my site about the idea of, Sometimes we don't do things because we just don't know how to do it yet. Like if we don't know how to cook, we haven't learned. And sometimes we don't do it because we have self-limiting factors. Like somebody said something to us one day, and it's identifying that and then pushing that aside and then just deciding we're going to be awesome. Because we really don't know what's going to happen in 10 years, but we have this moment to choose to be powerful and make a difference. And so I like the small events because we can get nitty-gritty and ask questions, and then there's that community that develops too. And I, Kelly, can I say something going back to what Tony said about doing something every day to move your business forward? And there is an echo if anybody has a speaker on. Um, the thing that I wanted to do was to pass it off to Natalie because a lot of times I'm not doing something that moves my business forward beyond, you know, the basics. But I have my virtual assistants doing it. I have my affiliates doing it. I have my business partners doing it. And so, Natalie, you know, as a virtual assistant, can you touch on how someone can live the beachpreneur lifestyle by having someone that's out there doing the work for them systematically on an ongoing basis so that they can go to the beach and what that looks like? You know, that's such a huge, huge topic because. You know, I don't know if you guys have read um, Tim Ferriss's Four Hour Work Week, but that's one of the biggest things that that he talks about is, you know, being able to create that lifestyle because you have other people working on your business for you. So as you get your business started and going, and you're starting to want to travel, you not may not be able to answer all of your support tickets by yourself every single day. So if you hired somebody to do that so that it would free up that little bit of time to be able to go to the event and network with people that are going to be, you know, you're going to be able to JV with, you're going to be able to um, really bring in bigger and better things for your business instead of being bogged down with something like your customer support desk, that will that just frees up that space and gives you that extra amount of freedom. So absolutely. And beyond that, even the marketing side of things, too. Mm -hmm. Because like Tony said, the customer support isn't, well, it can make you money if you have your customer support set up right because, you know, that person is doing selling for you. If you don't, then it costs you money. If you do, then it makes you money. But, you know, beyond that, as far as the marketing side of things, reaching out to affiliates, all of those other things, putting products together I know you do a lot of that where someone just um, creates, gives you the idea of the product, tells you where to go to find the pieces on their already created stuff. You create it, put together the sales process and everything, and they've got a money maker while they didn't touch it at all. Absolutely, yes. Um, and I do that a lot for, for my clients. They just they give me all the parts and pieces that they want. Uh, so they come in with their brilliant ideas and say, okay, put it together, and that frees up. You know, there's so much time, and especially a lot of, I find that a lot of entrepreneurs get bogged down with the techie side of things when it comes to their business, and to be able to hand that off to somebody also is a huge, like, weight off the shoulders 
um, just you know, being in front of the computer for you know ten hours a day trying to figure something out. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we have we have eight minutes left, and I wanted to I wanted you to just call out everyone who's watching this Hangout Live, and those of you who are watching the replay later. Please come to the event. You know, I'm, I'm going to be speaking. Let me run over the schedule really quick. We're going to, registration is going to begin on Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. We're going to open up with greetings at 6, and I'm going to be speaking at 6.30. I'm going to be sharing my personal story. I'm calling it My Escape from Poverty Island. Because let me tell you, Kelly from 12 and a half years ago was a broke, defeated, crushed single mom who couldn't pay her bills, whose utilities were being turned off, whose propane pig was running empty, who couldn't afford to buy her child anything. I, I remember the, a Christmas where his, his whole gift was a used Scrabble gift, a used Scrabble game I bought at the dollar store, or at the Goodwill store for a dollar. That was the only present I could put under the tree. And I just cried and cried and cried about it because that's not what I was used to growing up. I was used to lots of things under the tree and I just felt like such a failure. So completely defeated. And I think back and I, about that, Kelly and I, I can't even recognize her. Um, so many of you who think about coming to an event like this, you look at this lineup of speakers and advisors and you see the people, you see pictures of people who are at events and you think, they've got it all going on, they're rocking it, they're not going to like me, they're not going to get me, trust me, we get you. We remember very well where we started out, how small we felt. Nicole, that, that's a word you gave me uh, recently to use in some sales copy because uh, so many people are feeling really, really small at home, alone, trying to figure out how to make a buck. This event is about achieving the Beachpreneur lifestyle getting your business to the point where you can have the beach premier lifestyle that you crave. So many of our attendees already have businesses, they already have income coming in, but if you don't, I want you to feel very welcome to come and attend because it's not going to be so high level that it's going to go over your head and it's not going to be so intense that you're going to feel like there's a fire hose, um, you know, crashing into you. I promise you it'll light a fire in you and and open your eyes to the potential that you have. Nicole, something really amazing happens whenever people spend time with you and no it isn't crying. <laughs> I do make people cry that's, a lot. That does happen. But there's something that when, when people get around you um, their eyes are opened to their potential in business. You know, there's there's a message you send a lot of people home with when they've had an encounter with you. And that is when you get back home and you're facing everything you've got to face, I want you to remember, Nicole Dean thinks I'm smart. There's just something so cool about that when you say that to somebody. And I know, I know that they do. They go home and they remind themselves, Nicole Dean thinks I'm smart. I can do this. You may be surrounded with people who run you down, who tell you you can't do it, who tell you that your only opportunity is to work a job and get a paycheck. You may have been spinning your wheels for a while. You may have been chasing this, a dream for a while and people have lost confidence in you. It's never too late to actually get it and take real action. And I can't think of a better group of instructors to give you that vision to go home and do something real. And you're going to go home after having spent time with these people. So, okay, back to the schedule. 
So after my session on Friday night, we're going to have a delicious reception with hot gummies. And though there will be a cash bar if you want to have a drink and relax, and everyone will be there. You'll be able to make friends and and relax. Saturday is our teaching day. We open up with coffee. Our first keynote is with Rachel Martin. Then Tony will be speaking. Leslie will be speaking. We'll break for lunch. Come back for Debbie and Tracy Roberts. Then we're going to have a speaker panel where everyone who's spoken so far that day will step up on the panel and you'll get to ask questions. And then, Nicole, you'll be closing us up with that keynote. Then when we come back on Sunday, it's a mastermind day. We're giving you breakfast and lunch. It's all in, that is included in your ticket because we want to keep the group all together that day. We don't want you escaping for a minute because <laughs> we actually create a really amazing cocoon um, in small groups. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to be matched up with a couple of people who will become table leaders, who will lead you and mentor you in the masterminding process. And then wrapping us up at the end of the day is uh, awesome Bob Jenkins. He'll be giving us his Take Action Revise later keynote. Then don't even think about leaving early. Mm -mm. Don't. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't. <laughs> because we're going to have closing ceremonies with awards and recognition. You don't want to miss that. Not one second of it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Every one of you guys are going to be there. Thank you so much for being part of this because literally we're like, squee! <laughs> All right. Nicole, do you have any closing thoughts? This is happening! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a little bit excited. <laughs> All right. Uh, any, anybody across the line have one final parting thought you want to leave people with? Bob? Bob's muted. Oh no! Wait, you're muted! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to unmute him. I have, it, I'm clicking the mute button. Let's me try to control myself. There we go. Um, so yes, I do. In the four seconds that I just said was the absolute most perfect way to put it. However... <laughs> I will try to recapture. You know, the real magic of live events is not the agenda, right? Yeah. Kelly and Nicole have put an agenda on a sales page because people think that they want to know that so that when they go to an event, they have some order and some structure, and you know what you're going to learn. And so you're going to look over this list, and there's some cool stuff. Like, these are really smart people with really smart things to say. But the best thing you get from a live event, you cannot get from replays or from recordings or from blog posts or from emails or from info products. And that's that opportunity to have the engaging conversations with each one of us in a setting that is very intimate. And by very intimate, we're not talking like 150 people intimate, right? This is a nice small event where I think I calculated about a five or six student to faculty advisor ratio during the mastermind group. So you get that one-on-one -on -one time, not just in the masterminds, but in between the sessions, at the meals. We're at the beach, for crying out loud. We're going to be able to enjoy ourselves and be relaxed, and it's in those relaxed atmospheres where the best ideas happen. That's where Natalie and I had the opportunity to create the VA Success School was over dinner at an Indian restaurant and a relaxed opportunity in a group of about 25 people. So come to Beachpreneur's Lifestyle Conference, not because you're going to learn stuff, but because you're going to meet people, share an idea, and you're going to have that epiphany that turns into a profitable marketing plan for yourself, and you have the support of everyone who's coming, not just faculty members, but other attendees, to make it a reality for you. So get on board, hit that button, uh, find one of us if you uh, if you need some more discussion, but you know why wait on that? Just pull the trigger, jump on the conference, get your travel plan situated, and uh, make sure that you come. Thank you. Debbie. I I know if when you come here, it's gonna be this is gonna be the most amazing conference. I have to say Nicole thinks you're smart, knows you're smart, and Kelly knows you're awesome. <laughs> so come on down. I'll come on and see us. Leslie. Is Leslie here? 
Leslie muted? Am I? Uh, okay. I think I'm good. Um, I think one of the great things you get at live events is uh, just the energy and the motivation. I know whenever I go to live events, sometimes I don't even necessarily learn something new, but I'm hyped up to go home and do what I knew I was supposed to be doing in the first place. And so I'm really excited to be with you all. And um, osmosis, I think that works too at live events, that you really get that energy and, and all that. I'm very excited to be with you all. Natalie. Okay, so I have met some of my best friends at live events. Um, you know, Bob had mentioned that we lost you. it's just, you know, to me, it's priceless to your business to be able to attend somewhere where everybody is like minded, supportive, and knows what you're going through, knows your ups and downs as an entrepreneur, and how to help you fix it. Rachel. I had to do the unmuting thing. And, I, you know, being at the end, you guys all covered this so great. So I'm trying to think, what should I add here? But I'll tell you this. What I love about live events is I love social media because I love how we can get connected. But there is something super powerful about meeting the people that, you see online and going, whoa, they're real people. They have the same struggles. They start at zero with everything that they do, and they work hard towards it. Because I think sometimes everyone thinks, okay, they've got it figured out, but they forget the fact that we all start at the same place, and it's just this effort of continually working and trying and having people that believe in us. And when you meet people in real life, they're, they become um, not just somebody on the screen, but they become this friend, and you can bounce ideas off of it. And it's just such a powerful moment of, looking at somebody in the eye and saying, you know what, I believe in you and you can do this. And it's this accountability to move forward. So I agree, like the energy at live events, when I'm done, I am pumped to go home. And then beyond that, you've got this greater support group of cheerleaders that really love you for your awesomeness. And Tony, you'll be our anchorman. Okay, so uh, years ago I read a book by T. Hardwacker. <laughs> And change, wait, change that to knows I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> so T. Harvecker says in Secrets of the Millionaire Mind that you are the average of your five closest friends. And I found that to be absolutely true. I make a lot more money today in my business because my five closest friends make a lot more money in their business. And I want you to consider the fact that perhaps you need new friends. And this event is going to be the perfect place to find those friends. We're all going to be there. There's going to be other uh, super smart and successful attendees there. And I would like to issue a challenge to each of you to come build new relationships, discover new opportunities, and see how it changes your life, how it changes your business. I can guarantee that it will make a huge and profound difference in your future. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, everyone, for making the time to join us today and for coming and being part of this event. We are so excited to have you there. And attendees, we can't wait to see you, meet you, hug your neck, get to know you and your business, and, and help you pursue your beachpreneur lifestyle. Bye, everyone. See you. Bye. Ya.